Tonight, group two of our top 20 performs. Raina, Lorraine, Debbie, Cheryl, VG, Glenn, Louisa, Faith, Rico, and Sean. is art and craft. One of the favourite things that I like to do is foam art. Foam art is basically folding and sculpting the foam into various shapes like flowers or animals or many other things. My grandma comes here every week as a volunteer and I tag along to help out to teach the elderly how to make foam art. The greatest joy in teaching the elderly Home art is that I get to see their satisfying smile when they finish their artwork and it seeing that smile really makes me feel happy as well. Music is my art and singing is my craft. Performing one night only from the 1981 Broadway musical Dream Girls, this is Cheryl. Wow, 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 wow. Ladies, ladies, it's, uh, it's two very different performances. Um, Debbie, you, you nailed the beginning. Well done. You nailed the beginning. Thank you. Um, and as you progress through the song, I spoke to you this morning. You have to be, your, your voice you have to, con have to, have to control, but uh, it was a little shaky in the middle. And then at the end of your performance, I, I was looking at your face. You, you kind of knew, you kind of knew that that happened. And um, but what I'm trying to say is, is try try harder next time, and um, just be careful about the way the way uh, you you sing your song. And wow, Cheryl, your voice is just out of this world. I really enjoyed your voice a lot. Um, I'm a bit on the fence about the performance, though. I, I don't know. Um, but through and through, your voice just nailed it for me. Well done. Well done. Thank Good you. job, girls. Thank you so much. Okay, Debbie. 
During the audition rounds, I asked Cheryl why we should pick her over you. Should there be only one spot? I'm going to give you the same opportunity. So tell us why you have an edge over Cheryl if there should be only one spot left. Um, I feel that because I'm rather different than any kind of singers because we realize that singers out there right now, they're all like, you know, big voice. They all, they all have really huge voices. But never, like, as for me, I guess I'm the kind who does renditions, um, like this, a different style to music. So okay. I feel that. I, I think the point I'm trying to make is this. You have to grow as a singer, right? And then what you do is when you perform, you have to show that you're competitive, you're in a competition. I have not seen that yet, right? You have to learn to do that. Now, as Cheryl, when you pick a song, there's a certain message that you have to convey. You cannot find your own objectives and force it down as though you think that it's going to work for you because it will come across as you anxious to impress that may work against you, okay? To vote for Debbie, call 1-900-112-6003 or SMS 3 to 1460-71199. To vote for Cheryl, call 1-900-112-6004 or SMS 4 to 1460-71199. You can also vote online via Facebook. Now we're going for another short commercial break, but stay right here on the final one. Eight of the top ten spots will be revealed tonight. Results coming up live at 10 on 5. Now, Ken mentioned last week that the music industry is not all glitz and glamour and in fact, there is a lot of hardship and frustration involved. And therefore, it is very important that the artists have the right attitude to stay in it for the long haul. And with that in mind, Ken, could you please share with us your picks for sustainability? Okay, once again, I had an opportunity to speak to all of you this afternoon. There were two contestants that struck me with what they said. One said that, I'm just too stubborn to give out music, whatever the case may be. Another one said, as long as I have my guitar, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Now, this, this is the kind of attitude that I would like to see because regardless of what happens, they stay true to what they want to believe in, which is their passion for music. And these two contestants are... Congratulations, Cheryl and Glenn. Thank you, Ken.